Hey guys, Sarge here. What I want to come talk to you guys about today is my Beretta 92X. I recently had a student actually shoot it in the class. He liked it quite a bit. Uh, his pistols went down, so I gave him this one. The holster I gave him with this Beretta 92X was the Kraft Leather Holster Lynx. And he ran this through the whole class, had no issues with it. Uh, no issues from drawing or reholstering. Anything uh, there where the holster collapsed, he didn't have any issues. So, very cool. Um, after the class, I had the holster out and uh, ran through a couple drills with it that you guys will see here in a second. And just kind of pushed it, just seeing what I could do. Um, if there were any limitations with it. Just some of the basic shooting drills that I do whenever I get a new holster in. Um, just to kind of get a feel for it. What I also do is obviously with an unloaded with an unloaded pistol uh, at home, I'll just draw and reholster it about 50 times. And I'll, I, I do it, as soon as I put the gun on, I'll go in front of a mirror and I'll just practice drawing from the holster and then reholstering um, and see if I have any issues there, right? Because I'd like to identify all my issues if I'm gonna have any. <laughs> at home or on the range so I don't have to identify them in a all crap situation. So let's go watch those shooting videos real quick guys. We'll we'll see some of the, the footage that I got out there and then we'll come back and uh, show some new products and some some final thoughts for this initial portion for the holster. So let's go check those out. All right, so you guys saw those, uh, some of the shooting drills that I did. You all can be the judge with that. Um, all the misses were 100% because of me. Um, any of the hiccups were because of me, got it. 92X, the Breda 92X is phenomenal. I am a huge fan of this pistol. Um, the Breda 92 series as a whole has always been a favorite of mine ever since the movie Die Hard and uh, Lethal Weapon. Those are. Lethal Weapon was actually one of my favorite movies growing up, um, all four of them. But uh, I, I love the Lethal Weapon series and having uh, Martin Riggs using a Breda 92 was just very iconic. Um, then joining the military and using the M9. I'll, I'll tell you, everybody that complains about the M9 didn't have a good understanding of how to use it, for one. And they really didn't understand that we don't change out parts like a lot of people uh, think that we do. Uh, I definitely never... Never solid. I, I mean, I know we send them to armament and they, they get looked at there, but they don't get treated as well as what, you know, I treat my personal weapons. So that's just things to think about. Um, overall, guys, this Lynx holster, I think if you're on the market for a inside the waistband leather holster, you're not going to go wrong with this one. Um, I, I definitely think it's well built. It, it works. So I, <laughs> no complaints there. I do like the, the leather straps that they have. Um, there are some holsters that I have that have leather straps as well and they're not as nice as these. The, very nice, okay? Um, so no issues with that. So this is the Kraft holster, uh, Lynx holster. Now for new products, what I got, um, Kraft holsters also does gun belts, okay? So this is their gun belt. It comes in black and I believe brown and it's a pretty nice gun belt. So something that I do to test belts, um, you just grab the belt at its side here and try to bend it in. If it doesn't bend in, good choice for a gun belt because then it's not gonna bend in from the weight of your gun, 
okay? Uh, so I'm going to be using this uh, as kind of my range holster, and or range holster is my range belt, okay? So we'll see how it holds up. And then I have uh, this small of the back holster. I've never carried small of the back. Uh, I've ne never really even thought about doing it, but... I work with a lot of guys who are on church security teams or they work for private security companies where they're wearing suits and things of that nature. So they need their they need the front of them, let's say their suit jacket is unbuttoned, right? They need that to be a clean appearance to where you can't see um, that they're wearing a gun belt or that they're carrying a gun. They kind of want that to be clean and to be not seen of what they have. Well, I think having, let's say you're running your primary your three or three thirty, having a backup at small of the back, I think is a just fine thing to do, um, especially if you are working in a job field where you're standing a lot, walking around a lot. I think that's fine. Now, if your job is driving, if your job is you know sitting behind a desk or something, I, I don't know how comfortable this would be, but we will find out. Okay, um, so I got I got some things in the works for this, and we'll we'll see how it looks. Um, the holster choice that I went with was for my Smith & Wesson 642 J-Frame. I have the Ultimat uh, grips on it. I'm a huge fan of the Florida de Lee, if you can't tell. Um, so those are on the grips there. But All right, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the little catch-up review, especially anything that has the 92X in it. I'm sure people enjoy. I love this pistol. Um, I love it. It's an awesome pistol, guys. Uh, but the the craft links holster good so far so stay tuned for more guys if you guys have any questions please comment you all can find me on instagram at shooting with the sarge as always guys stay tuned for more sarge out